Hey team, welcome to your daily sadhana. This is Katie, and I'm here to guide you through your practice this afternoon, this morning, or whenever you're participating. Today's practice is going to be a lot of repetitive movements in an opportunity for us to find a couple different things. So repetitive movement just allows us to kind of tap into our bodies, release the idea of having to anticipate what's coming next, um, and just allowing ourselves to really settle in, to move without expectation, to move with familiarity. Um, and we'll also be working our way through what's I'm calling a backwards ladder flow. So what that means is rather than adding a posture every single time, we're gonna do the longest section first and we're gonna remove a posture every single time. So in that way, A, it's repetitive movement, right? You have all of the information up front. And it is in your mind, it is in your hands and you can make a lot more informed choices once you have all of the information. So we're gonna give that to you right up front in the very first um, long standing series that we do. And then from there, we just start to recognize that everything is temporary and it's always gonna get easier. So with this practice, we'll get into it pretty quickly. Um, so hopefully we've done a little bit of movement beforehand and if not, go ahead, give it a pause and kind of shake some stuff out. Um, but we'll just be able to really drop in, drop right into our bodies, release the mind, focus on the breath, get all the information we need right up front and then understand that it's just gonna get easier over time. The more we move, the more we breathe, the easier things are gonna to start to feel. Um, you can take that off the mat as well, I'm sure. Um, so just things to noodle on as we start to move our bodies. Um, but if you don't mind, go ahead and meet me um, standing at the top of your mat. And as we stand at the top of the mat, we'll just kind of move around a little bit. So separate your feet out a little bit wider, kind of start to shake around. Trunk twists are usually my first favorite thing to do. And just kind of starting to soften into the knees, sway through the spine. And maybe you start to like open one of the arms up and around, taking some shoulder circles. Maybe just some swimmer stretches, up and back. And just give yourself a little bit of a chance to move here and really just explore the opportunities that you have in your body just by standing. And kind of do whatever you need to do. You can start to take it down to golf swings. Again, opening up the spine, opening up the chest. We'll get into the legs, I promise. All right, when you feel ready, shake it out. Step to the top of your mat, please. Reach your fingertips up overhead. Inhale for mountain pose or order the hastasana. The shoulders struggle, shrug away from the ears to create more room and your feet just anchor a little bit more firmly. Take a breath in, reach with your fingers. Then exhale, pull your hands into your heart center. Find some intention here. Then reach your hands up on a breath in. Then bow down, fold forward, breathe out. Let's do that two more times. Halfway lift first, hands to shins or thighs, parallel your chest with the floor and Pull the belly button up and in so the spine and the core are strong. And then exhale, forward fold. Rise back up to the ceiling, reach up, breathe in. Hands to your heart center, breathe out. Up on the inhale. And fold on the exhale. Halfway lift, space for yourself. And a forward fold to recommit. Rise up to the sky, inhale, mountain pose. Anjali Mudra, pull your hands to your heart center. Hands reach up, inhale. Fold forward, and breathe out. Halfway lift, please. And forward fold. We'll change it up a little bit. Inhale, reach the fingertips high. Hands to your heart center. Reach up, Urva Hastasana. Uttanasana as you forward fold. Find length through your spine on your inhale. Then I want you to step your left leg back on the exhale. Drop the left knee down, please, and inhale for Anjaneyasana or low crescent lunge. Fingertips can reach up, they can come to your thighs, or you're very welcome to place blocks or books underneath your hand just to find some space. All I'm asking for is space in the left hip, a little bit of a lunge in 
the first few moments of class can feel really, really good. Take a breath in where you are. As soon as you exhale, plant your palms, downward facing dog, please. From your downward facing dog, roll forward to your high plank. And then lower down halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale for upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. And then downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Since your left leg steps back, your left leg will step forward now. Reach the left leg high. And then exhale, step the left foot between the palms. Drop your right knee to the ground. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. We'll hold here again, same, same. Melt the hips, reach the hands, pull the heart open. This time, tuck your back toes. We're gonna move forward. Exhale, forward, fold. These are called sun salutation C's. Inhale, reach your hands up high, mountain pose, or Hustasana. Hands to your heart center. Forward and backward movement, creating repetition. Tap into the breath. Inhale, reach the hands high. Then exhale, forward, fold. Halfway lift. Breath to movement, we start with the opposite side. Step your right foot back, please. Right knee sets down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, reach the fingertips up. Then exhale, plant the palms, downward facing dog, left foot steps back. Glide forward to your plank, lower halfway down, maybe knees touch. Upward facing dog, back bend that you're choosing. Downward facing dog, hips lift. Right leg lifts to the sky, please, three point. And exhale, step the right foot between the palms. Left knee drops down, heart rises, arms rise, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, forward fold, push forward, Uttanasana. Right up to mountain pose, Urdhva Hastasana. Roll up, rise up. Hands to your heart center. Reach up on the inhale. Fold down on the exhale. Halfway lift, please. Left leg steps back, please. Left knee sets down. Rise up, Anjaneyasana, inhale. Exhale, plant the palms, downward facing dog, right foot steps back. As you glide forward, find your plank. Lower down, halfway. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg to the high, please, three point. Step it all the way through, but take your time. Drop your right knee to the ground and then swing the hands up, big breath in. Forward fold, please, as you exhale, step forward. Rise up and root through the feet. Inhale, mountain pose. Heart center, hands come in. Reach the hands up, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, last time, last side. Right leg steps back, right knee sets down. Inhale, rise up, Anjaneyasana. Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha. Step the left foot back. High plank, Dandasana, lower just halfway. Inhale for upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha. Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. Right leg high, three point. Step the right foot between the palms. Left knee sets down and then sweep the hands up. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Exhale forward fold, Uttanasana, left foot to right. Rise up, mountain pose, Urdhva Hastasana. Hands to your heart center. Stay here, breathe in. And breathe out. One more before we move on. Big breath in. Bigger breath out. This time on your inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Feet together or feet apart, but push your hips back like you're sitting into a chair. Pay attention to where your knees are, so they're not in front of your toes, but they're behind them. And then fingertips reach towards the front of your space, or maybe up a little bit towards the sky. Tuck the tailbone softly so the hip points pull up and forward, and the tailbone slides down. Belly button hugs in to protect everything else. Take a breath in here. Keep the lower half. Exhale, open twist to the right. Reach your right fingertips behind you and your left hand reaches forward. A subtle twist to the spine, but also subtle work for the obliques. So as you twist, hips stay level, engage between your inner thighs. Inhale, come back through chair. Then exhale, open twist to the left. Spread your collarbones wide and snuggle the shoulder blades together. 
back through center, inhale, chair. Then exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. And then fold again. We'll come right back up to chair pose. On your inhale, Utkatasana, chair. This time, step your left leg back, please. Crescent with airplane arms. We'll start our longest series here. So we'll go slow to start and then we'll start to flow our way through. So crescent with airplane arms, also maybe called arrow lunge. You'll hear it a couple different ways. Right hip draws back so the left hip can pull forward. And then it looks like you're holding a beach ball above your hips behind you. Let the right hand stay behind you. Inhale, exalted warrior. Left fingertips reach to the sky as your right hand reaches for your back leg. A little twist, a little back bend, a big opening for the left hip. Inhale here. Then the next hell, warrior two. Open your way out to the left side of your space. Send your right toes to face towards the front of your mat and then your left toes are gonna face the long edge. Bend into your right knee, take up space and reach your arms out wide. Breathe in. And then settle as you breathe out. And inhale to straighten your right leg, please. And exhale, triangle pose or trikonasana. Hips to the back of your space, right shoulder forward, and then right fingertips down. Every single time we take this transition, we make some room. Left shoulder wraps to the space behind you, and you can look up or down depending upon how your neck feels. Pull a little weight out of your right hand, breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Bend your right knee. Sweep your right fingertips up and overhead like you're just going to graze your own ceiling with your fingertips. Exhale for side angle. Right forearm to right thigh. Back hand reaches overhead. Think about your bicep by your ears and your palm facing the ground overhead like you could dribble a basketball. Pull the left shoulder back again so you can feel a subtle twist that happens in this posture as your right shoulder starts to see the ceiling more. Look to the ground, please. Inhale, revolve side angle, left hand to a block or to the floor, and then reach your right hand high to the sky as you level your hips by coming high up on your back toes. You can always drop your back knee for this posture. It only changes the depth of your twist. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, drop your back knee if you haven't. Inhale, low crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. You've been here before. And then as you exhale, plant the palms, step back, high plank to low plank. You can always skip it. We meet in downward facing dog anyway. And we'll have quite a few repetitions to get through this. From your downward facing dog, look forward and then travel to the top of your mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, please. Then forward fold. You have all the information now. Inhale, chair pose, sink the hips, reach the hands high. Open twist to the right, please. Back through center on your inhale. Open on your exhale, left side. Through center on your inhale. Step your right leg back, please. Arrow lunge or crescent with airplane arms. Focus this time on your arms. Pull the shoulder blades together behind you so your heart begins to smile open and then your pinkies start to support the ceiling above you as you engage through the back of your arms. Inhale, exalted warrior, left hand behind you, right fingertips reach up. Think about plugging your right thumb into the back of your space, palm wide, engage through the fingertips, high up on the back toes, breath in. And exhale for warrior two to face the right side of your room. Take up space here. Your warrior two might be a little bit wider than your crescent stance. So give yourself the opportunity to just kind of shuffle around. Remember that you have all the information. Remember you know everything that you need to know. And so now we make choices based on that knowledge. Inhale, straighten your left leg. And exhale, triangle pose. Kick your hips to the back and reach your torso forward. Left fingertips down towards the floor, to your shin, or to a block. Reach your right fingertips up towards the sky like they're connected by a string to something bigger than yourself. Start to roll the left shoulder underneath you so you can peek up and peek open. Breath in. 
and breath out. Bend the left knee, please. Inhale, reverse warrior. Left fingertips sweep up and back. Exhale, side angle. Keep the left knee bent and reach the right forearm up and over. Bicep by your ears and think about a long line of energy from your right middle finger down to the edge of your right foot. Breath in and out. Look to the ground. Inhale, revolve side angle. Right hand towards the ground and then left fingertips towards the sky. High up on the back toes here and then draw the left hip back in space so you can turn open more. Give yourself room. And breathe in. Exhale, drop the right knee down. Inhale for low crescent lunge or anjaneyasana. Reach the fingertips up. And then as you exhale, plant the palm, step the left foot back. Glide forward to your high plank and lower halfway. Upward facing dog and then downward facing dog. Team, we're gonna move that breath to movement one time all the way through. So we can feel what it feels like to have the entire flow, the entire information flowing through us. And from there, everything gets easier. Everything is always temporary. Everything is always fleeting. So we move through it now with intention and commitment, knowing that it might not be there the next time we go around. Take a look forward. Travel, top of the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, please. And fold. Chair pose, sink low and reach anywhere. Open twist to the right, please. Back through center, breath in. To the left, twist as you breathe out. Inhale, center, chair pose. And exhale, step the left leg back, please. Crescent with airplane arms, arrow lunge. Inhale, exalted warrior, right hand back, left hand up. And then exhale, warrior two, open out. Straighten the right leg, breathe in. Triangle pose as you breathe out. Reverse warrior, bend your right knee, sweep the right fingertips up. And exhale, side angle, right forearm down, left arm overhead. Inhale, revolve side angle, left hand to the ground, right hand to the sky. Drop the left knee. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, low crescent. High plank to low plank, or downward facing dog, you choose. Upward facing dog if you chose it. Meet me in downward facing dog, breathe out. Look forward and then travel, top of the mat. Lengthen halfway. Then fold forward. Chair pose, please. Breathe in. Twist to the right as you breathe out. Back through center. And then twist to the left. Back through center on your inhale. And then right leg steps back, please. Arrow lunge. Inhale, exalted warrior. Left hand behind. Right hand reaches high. Exhale, warrior two. You have this, flow smoothly. Inhale, straighten the left leg. And triangle pose on the exhale. Reach forward, reach down. Reverse, warrior, please bend your left knee. Reach the left fingertips away. And then side angle as you find your depth. Reach back forward and down. Revolve side angle, right hand to the ground. High up on your right toes and then twist to the left. And exhale, drop the right knee. Sweep the arms up, take an inhale. Plant the palms, high plank to low plank or downward facing dog. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. It all gets easier from here, look forward. Top of the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, then a fold again. Utkatasana, chair pose, breathe in. Twist to the right, please. Through center, inhale. To the left, please, exhale. And through center, breath in. Arrow lunge, left leg steps back, sweep the arms back. Exalted warrior, inhale, reach up. Warrior two, open out, breathe out. Straighten the right leg, inhale. Triangle pose, exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Right knee bends, right hand sweeps up. Side angle on the exhale, start to listen for change. 
Inhale, revolve, side angle. This is now your last posture. Reach the right hand up. Exhale, plant the palms, high plank to low plank, or downward facing dog. Look forward, please. Top of the mat, forward fold. Lengthen halfway. And fold again. Chair pose, inhale. Twist to the right, exhale. Center, breathe in. To the left, breathe out. Chair inhale. Right leg back, arrow lunge. Exalted warrior, please inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Straighten the left leg, breathe in. Triangle, breathe out. Reverse warrior, inhale, left knee bends, left fingertips sweep. Side angle, exhale, find your depth, make your choice. Final posture this side, right hand down, revolve side angle, come high up on the right toes. High plank to low plank, or downward facing dog, you choose. Upward facing Urdhva. And downward facing Otto. Look forward, breathe in. Step to the top, please. Breathe out. Lengthen halfway. Reset with a fold. Let me take off more. Chair pose. Breathe in. Twist to the right. Breathe out. Center. Inhale. To the left. Exhale. Breathe in. Center. Left leg back, please. Arrow lunge. Exalted warrior. Inhale. Left hand rises. Warrior two, open towards the left side. Straighten the right leg, breathe in. Triangle pose, breathe out. Reverse warrior, sweep the right fingertips all the way up and away. This is your last posture now. Palm the mat, please, high plank to low plank. The moment you hear that this is your new last posture, how does it feel? Noticing things get easier over time and that that length, that duration, that effort is temporary. Look forward. Travel, top of the mat. Halfway lift, lengthen. And fold again. Chair pose, breathe in. Twist to the right, breathe out. Through center, inhale. And to the left, exhale. Through center, breathe in. Right leg back, arrow lunge. Exalted warrior, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the left leg. And exhale, triangle pose, reach down. Reverse warrior, final posture on this side. Big inhale. And then plant the palms. Chaturanga Dandasana, high plank to low plank. Just a couple more rounds to go. Downward facing dog. Look forward, breathe in. Travel, breathe out. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose, inhale. Twist to the right, exhale. Center, breathe in. And then to the left, breathe out. And inhale to center. Left leg back, arrow lunge, please. Inhale, exalted warrior. Final posture here. Big breath in. And exhale, downward facing dog or chaturanga dandasana. You choose the ease in which you want to feel. Upward facing and downward facing. Look forward and then travel top of the mat. Lengthen halfway once you get there and fold forward. Chair pose, utkatasana. This has maybe changed, hopefully changed a lot. Exhale, open twist to the right. Back through center as you inhale. And twisting to the left as you exhale. Back through center, breathe in. Then exhale, right leg back, arrow lunge. Exalted warrior, this is it, breathe in. Plant the palms, high plank to low plank, or downward facing dog. Urva Mukha. And Adho Mukha. Last time, look forward. Top of the mat, forward fold. 
halfway lift, then fold again. Chair pose, Utkatasana, sink the hips, reach the hands. This time, full prayer twist to the right. Sink low and then chamber your left arm to the outside of your right thigh, palms pressed together at your heart center. We've been twisting, we've been moving, and now we pause. To acknowledge and understand that even when nothing's changing, the effort still gets easier over time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stand up and reach up. Inhale, mountain pose. Relieve your legs. Breathe in. Hands to your heart center. Breathe out. Chair pose with katasana. Hips low. Hands anywhere. And then full prayer twist to the left. Chamber your right arm to the outside of your left thigh and press your palms to your heart. Put a little more weight into your heels. Trust that you've done the work. Trust that even though it feels harder, it's getting easier. And breathe in. And out. Rise up for mountain pose. Unravel, release the spine. Hands to your heart center. Reach the hands up, find an inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Lengthen halfway. Step back to your high plank knees. And then lower all the way down to the ground. Knees, chest, chin. Move any objects out of your way so that you can move towards a rolling cobra. So what that means is that your hands are on the outside of your mat in line with your shoulders. And then your elbows are on top of your wrists. Almost like upside down goal posts. And then press the tops of your feet down into the ground. Press into your fingertips. Inhale, roll up for a cobra pose. And then like a wave, come right back down. Two more. Roll up, puff up, rise up, breathe in. And breathe out. Last one, press up, breathe in, lengthen. And lower, and breathe out. And take your palms, Press them underneath you for Sphinx pose. Something a little bit more passive. Elbows under the shoulders. Chest pulls up and through your biceps. And press the tops of your feet down so that your thighs begin to ignite and your knees begin to peel off the floor. And there's effort in stillness. And there's action in inaction. And no matter what it is, the longer we do it, the easier it gets. The more in tune we feel with our bodies, the more we can change the minutia of the movements or of the action to sit in it just a little bit longer. Everything is temporary and it all gets easier over time. Very slowly release your head to the floor. And then I want you just to pancake yourself over so just roll onto your backs. As you roll onto your back, plant the soles of your feet down into the ground and then take a figure four, please. So right ankle crosses over your left thigh. You're very welcome to stay exactly as you are, feet down. Or you might gather your knees and towards your chest and bind right behind your left hamstring. Or I have my left knee fully bent and I'm kind of grabbing my left kneecap as I thread the needle of my right leg. Hmm, start to slow down. A lot of rapid movement, a lot of being in the body, and then almost feeling like uh, hitting a brick wall and finding a very sudden stop. Because at some point, all of a sudden, the effort's over. And we might be left with what we thought, or we might be left with something different but what we're left with really wasn't what we were after in the first place. What we're left with is a beautiful culmination of our efforts and our actions and our choices. And gently go ahead and switch to the other side. As your left ankle crosses over the right thigh, again, you might stay, honor each side as their unique selves or hug in if it needs it.
And this idea that everything gets easier and everything is temporary is also detachment. It's also our ability to become unattached from the results of any of our actions. To stay very focused and very diligent on our path of action, of moving forward, and not necessarily being attached to what is in front of us. Letting things unfold as our effort sees fit. And as our divine timing tells us it's right. You're always exactly where you need to be. Very slowly release. And then find Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees wide. You're always welcome to place blocks or pillows or books underneath the outside edges of your knees to give yourself more support. And you might place both hands on yourself somewhere that it feels comfortable. Maybe left hand to heart, right hand to belly, or palms onto your thighs. And then take a moment to find connection and to find appreciation for getting through it all. For putting one foot in front of the other, even and especially when you had all of the information. You knew how hard it was. And you did it anyway. And in your heart of hearts, you knew it would only get easier every single step you took. The path would flatten. There'd be less rocks or boulders or branches in your way. And you just keep moving. And that's all we can ask of ourselves. Let's keep putting one foot in front of the other and trust that whatever is happening right now is temporary and we are on to the next. Stay here as long as you want. And you might start to melt into Shavasana. Sending your legs long and your arms out wide and taking up as much space on your mat as you possibly can. Taking up as much space in your room as you possibly can. Now, you rest. And I'll call you out when it's time. Before you move, I want you just to be extremely still and listen to the sounds that are around you. There's nothing to do, there's nothing to tend to, there's nowhere to go. It's just you existing in the midst of everything. One of my favorite things to do in Shavasana is listen to the things that are going on outside of the room. Might be people chatting, might be a dog or a cat or a pet or walking around. The laundry might be going or someone might be bringing mail to your door. And it's just a really beautiful reminder that even as we rest, Everything still carries on. Not everything has to happen right now. And just because someone else is doing something doesn't mean we have to. So keep resting. As long as you want and as long as you need, everything will 
still be there when you arrive. If you're ready to complete this practice, I'll meet you in a comfortable seat, facing each other and facing us all. And pull your hands to your heart center, soften your eyes closed as a final reminder to yourself that you do in fact have all of the information. All of this is quite temporary and it's really going to get easier over time. Send your thumbs to your third eye, right between your brows. And the teacher in me sees and honors the teacher in you. And together we bow forward. Thank you so much for participating in your practice. And I will see you on the mat very, very soon.